Okay, now the class is recorded. Uh, being recorded. Uh, let's see. Good evening, welcome, Joseph. Good evening, welcome to the class. Okay. As you know, in the last class, we were talking about past tense, yeah? So, we stopped working with abilities. No, we're talking about this. And when we talk about abilities, we are used, we are going to use um, can or can't in present tense. Okay, Stefano. Yeah. Let's make a revision of that, okay? Because in the last class, we stopped it here, no? What can they do? For example, in the first picture, we says that they... Or in, the, well, in this case, the gear. Yes, we say that, no? In this other, he can climb a mountain. Yes, this is a mountain. In the next, he can sing. Yeah, good. The other is, she can draw well, okay? Then, oh, open your eyes. Yeah, she can ride a horse and she can run fast, okay? This is abilities, but in present tense. Today, we are going to talk about the past tense. And for that, we use uh, could and couldn't, okay? Look at here, the verb could. Could you play the piano when you were young? You see? Could you play the piano when you were young? Yes, I could. Uh, as you see here, we use could because could is the past of can. In affirmative, I could drive. In the negative, I couldn't drive. For questions, could I drive? Yes, I could or no, I couldn't. Okay, this is for question. As says here, you, we use could to talk about abilities in the past. For example, my sister could play the violin when she was seven, okay? But you need to notice the difference among the past ability and the present ability. Let's work with this, okay? This is present ability. Tell me, can it fly? Open your microphones. Tell me, can it fly? Yes, yes it can, no? Good. Can it sing? Very good. One more. Can it swim? Yes, it can. You see? These exercises are in present tense with using can. Can it fly? Yeah, good. You see? This is in present tense. Now let's see the past, okay? But you have to notice the difference between these two. Look at this. For example, in this question, can you play basketball? What is the answer? Can you play basketball? Tell me, what is the answer? Very good. Or oh, maybe, no, I can't, no? If you don't like basketball, and you never play it, maybe you can play. Yeah, but it's good. This is in present tense. This other, can you run fast when you were a child? What is the answer? Teacher, yes, I can. No, because the question is in past tense. Very good. Uh -uh. In past, in past. Cambio lo pasado. Como teacher? Solo cambio el verbo. Yes, I could. No, I couldn't. Because the past of can is could. The same with can't, couldn't. 
Yeah, this other. Can you swim? Tell me, can you swim? Yes, I can. Because this is present tense. You have to notice, you have to notice the difference between present tense and past tense. When the question is in present with can, you, you answer with can. Yes, I can. When the question is in past tense, you answer using the past. Could you run fast when you were a five years old, when you were a, a child? Yes, I could. Okay? So let's play with this. Yeah, let's see. Alexander, please. Alexander, tell me a number, please. Two, okay. Could you run fast when you were a child? Yes, I. Uh -uh. Could you run fast when you were a child? Yes, I. Could. Could. Porque la pregunta es con could. Si te preguntan con did, claro, respondes con did. Pero en este caso es con could. Yes, I could. Okay. Emiko, please. Emiko, tell me a number. Emiko. Seven. Okay. Yeah. This question is in present or is past tense? Tell me, is in present tense or past tense? Present, very good. And the question is, can Susie sing? No, present. George, please t tell me a number. Three, okay. Oh. You are good luck. No question for you. Uh, Joseph, tell me a number, please, Joseph. One, okay. Yeah, this in question. You have to change the question. The question could be like this, no? Can you hold the door? Or could you hold the door? No, impressive. It's possible the two of these, okay? Yeah, what well, else is good? No, could is possible or can. The two are okay. Uh, Reina, please tell me a number. Six. Okay. Oh, yeah. Good luck. Stefano, please tell me a number. Stefano, tell me a number. Okay. Please, if you... Oh. Yeah, tell me, what is the answer? Can you ski or skate? What is the answer? Please open your microphones. Open. Tell me, can you ski or skate? Yes, I can, or no, I can't, because it's present tense, can. This other, could you play many games when you were five years old? What is the answer, please, tell me. No one, okay, let's see. Alexander, please tell me, what is the answer? Could you play many games when you were five years old? No, I couldn't. Yeah, well, it's good. Or well, maybe yes. No, it depends. Depends on everyone. Oh. Yeah, this is the question, no? Let's see. Maribel, please. Uh, this other. Oh, this may be a question. Yeah. This is, we have to answer. Oh, yeah, this one. 
This is an example. Yeah. Can you play tennis, Maribel? Yes, I can. Good. Because it's present. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, when? Oh, when? Tell me. Could your sister do exercise when she was ill? When she's sick? Yes, she could or no, she couldn't. No, she couldn't, okay? She couldn't do exercise because she was ill. Okay, let's see to finish. Emiko, please tell me, can you play basketball? Yes, I can. Good. Okay, my friends, now let's go to the platform, okay? To the activity, the activity D. Help me to complete with the verbs. Please, I need six volunteers, okay, to participate here. Six. Raise your hand if you want to participate, okay? Raise your hand, please. Okay, Reina, Maribel, Reina, please, number one. Read. No, it's not correct. What is the correct verb? Play, yes. It's not possible sing the violin. Play the violin. Play, no, this is the correct action. Maribel, please, number two. Excellent. That is, ride a horse when she was young. Very good. More volunteers, please. Raise your hand. For number three, four, five, and six. Come on. Tell me. Raise your hand. Okay, let's see. Okay, Alexander, tell me please, number three. Continue. Excellent, that's good. Yeah, draw, he can draw. Two, three volunteers more, please, raise your hand. Okay, Joseph, tell me, number four. Yes, thank you. No, he can sing. He has a terrible voice. That's good. Two volunteers more, please. Two more. Two students more. Number five and six. Okay, Maribel, read please. And Reina, one more time. Maribel, read five. Maribel, the number five. Yeah, okay. Excellent, that's good. And to finish, Reina, please. Yeah, good. She can run very fast, no? That's why she won the race. The competition, that's a race. Very good. If you see, sometimes we use can when we talk about present, and sometimes we use could. Could is for the past. Okay, yeah, let's practice here. For example, what we use here, can or could for this picture? Can, no, could. ¿Por qué teacher could? Porque está en pasado. Could you swim when you were four years old? Y la respuesta sería, yes, I could. No, I couldn't. Yeah, this other, tell me.
can nope could could you do a cartwheel when you were eight years old well to be honest i couldn't no i couldn't you see this other the same no could you read when you were four years old it's in the past o sea cuando tenías cuatro años when you were four years old and you see we have many questions but this kind of questions is in past tense all they are in past okay okay let's see uh, to finish here alexander please could you swim when you were four years old really oh because I think most of us, we couldn't swim at this age. For example, I learned how to swim when I was 12, I guess. Yeah, but that's good. Emiko, Emiko, could you read when you were four years old? Yeah, very good. See? It's common with this, no? Because we start learning how to read in first grade or second grade. Yeah? When you were six or seven, not four. Okay, one question more. Jort. Mm. Jort. This is your question. Jort. Could you ride a bike when you were six years old? Really? Oh, that's that's good. The same, no? I learned how to ride a bike when I was 14, I guess. See? That is good. Okay, let's continue, okay, with our activities. Activity E. Yeah, help me to complete with could or couldn't, okay? Let's read this conversation. Let's go like this. Were you a good student in high school? No, I wasn't. Were you good at sport? Yes, I was. Tell me. Yeah, I could run very fast and I... Yeah, I could play basketball very well. Because you see, they are talking about past in high school. Well, some of you are in high school, no? But the rest of us, we are at university or we are adults. Even we have children and wife or husband, you see? That's good. The next conversation. Can you drive a car, Jessica? Wow, when I was your age, I couldn't, yes, I couldn't even ride a bicycle. Continue, please, tell me, I, yeah, very good, could, I could ride a bicycle when I was only five years old, oh, you see, that's why this early age, he can drive a car. Yes, I can. That's what she says. No, that's good. The last part, please. Your sister sings very well. Yes, she does. But you know, she... Oh, very good. She couldn't sing at all when she was young. See, but now, in present tense, she sings very well. Okay, please, two volunteers to practice the first conversation, okay? Two students for the first conversation. Raise your hand, please. Come on, raise your hand. Okay, Alexander and Maribel. Speak, please. Alexander, you letter A, Maribel, B.
Nice. Thank you. Good job. The second conversation, please. Two students more. Raise your hand. Okay. Yes. Now, yes, definitely. Yes. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. One student more, please. One volunteer more. Come on. Raise your hand, please, if you want to participate. Okay, Stefano and Joseph, okay? Stefano, you A, and Joseph, you letter B. Yes, please. Oh, this is the second conversation, this conversation, this is this. Thank you. Remember, this is could and couldn't, no? That's good. And this is a bicycle. Okay, for the last conversation, conversation number three. Two students, please raise your hand. Come on, two students. Raise your hand. Okay, two girls, okay, I'm going to choose. Let's see. Reina and Joseph. Please, the conversation number Okay, thank you. Please, everybody, open your microphones. Please open your microphones. Repeat, okay? Repeat. No, I wasn't. I could run very fast. Please open your microphones. You have to improve your pronunciation, okay? Repeat. I could run very fast. I could play basketball very well. When I was your age, very good. Repeat, please. When I was your age, I couldn't. Even ride a bicycle. Repeat, please, a bicycle. She couldn't sing. She couldn't sing when she was young. Repeat, please, when she was young. Really? Really? Okay, good. Okay, remember those words, you have to practice. Now, let's continue with activity F. Okay, my friends, today we are going to work with not abilities in the past, we finished with that part, with abilities, no? With these questions, no? Could, yes, I could, no, I couldn't. In present tense, in present, we use can, no? Okay? Can, in present tense. But in past, could, couldn't. Okay, now, we are going to work with adverbs. Okay? This is our grammar. Adverbs of manners. If you see here in red, the words in red says, adverbs of manners describe how something happens. Okay, for example, the house is very quiet today. See? Quiet is an adjective. 
And the woman says, yes, the kids are have, uh, the kids are playing quietly in their rooms, in their bedrooms. This quietly is the adverb. Okay. If you see, teacher, what is the difference between quiet and quietly? Well, in Spanish could be like this. Uh, la casa está muy silencioso hoy es un adjetivo silencioso aquí quietly se, se traduciría silenciosamente okay. the kids are playing quietly por eso dice que describe cómo pasan las cosas o sea cómo están jugando los niños quietly silenciosamente ¿Sí? And these are the adverbs, you see? The adjectives and adverbs. Please open your microphones. Open. Repeat, please, okay? Good, well. Repeat, please. Good, well. Fast, fast. Hard, hard. Late, Late. Early, early. Okay, en castellano sería así, mira. ¿eh? Bueno, bien. Rápido, rápidamente. Difícil, difícilmente. Tarde, tardemente. Temprano, tempranamente. That is in Spanish. ¿Cómo se cambia? De, la, de, los, de los adjetivos salen los adverbios. Pero en algunos no pasa nada. No nos sigue siendo fast, fast. Hard, hard. Algunos no cambian para nada, pero otros sí. Good, well. Quiet, quietly. Easy, easily. Horrible, horribly. You see? Esas son las reglas. Si terminan en, en T, como dice acá, se aumenta la li. Como happy, ¿no? Happy, happily. ¿Sí? Le hemos aumentado el li. Beautiful, beautifully. Los que terminan en una, con, como dice acá, terminan en consonante y una y, se quita eso y se pone i, l, i. Easy, easily. ¿Ok? Y si termina en le, horrible, se cambia por why. ¿Ok? Horribly. Excepto esos de acá, ¿no? Que no cambian para nada. Ok, vamos a ver si más o menos hemos entendido, ¿ya? ¿Te parecen en sí los, los, los adjetivos? Los de acá son adjectives, adjectives. And these are adverbs. What is the adjective for beautifully? Tell me. It's beautiful. Yes. What is the adjective for fast? Fast. Okay, please. The adjective for badly. But. The adjective for well. Good. The adjective for happily. Happy. Good. The adjective for loudly. Yeah, loud. The adjective of quietly. Quiet. Very good. The adjective of easily. Easy. The adjective of slowly. Slow. Good. The adjective of hard. Hard. Or quickly. Quick. Very good. And for carefully. Careful. You see? 
Chicos, los adjetivos se parecen bastante a los adverbios. Se parecen, pero significan distintas cosas. ¿Qué significa beautiful en Spanish? Hermoso. ¿Qué, sería, qué significaría beautifully? Yes, that is. Hermosamente. Fast es rápido. Fast. Yes. Bat. Malo, ¿no? Badly. Terriblemente o malamente o si no. Ya, yeah, happy ya vimos. Slow. En Spanish. Lento. Y slowly. Lentamente. Quiet. Ya vimos silencioso, silenciosamente. Easy. Fácilmente, easily, ¿no? De ahí. Uh, quick. Quick. Rápido. Quick es como fast. Quickly. Rápidamente. Careful. Como adjetivo. As adjective. Cuidadoso o cuidadosa. And carefully. Cuidadosamente. Ok. Ya, Tichi, ¿cómo lo usamos? Ya, yeah, let's use it, ok. Here. Look. He seems. What is the correct option? Yes. Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see, so is this, oh. De lo que te mostré, aquí están algunos adverbios, ¿no? The good, well, the fast, fast, the hard, hard. The quiet, quietly, the easy, easily, the horrible, horribly. Te envío este link. Practícalo, ok. Open the link, please. This link, you're going to match the adjective with the adverb. Then we work in some, then we practice using this, ok. The adverbs are very similar. Please go to the chat. Open the link. When you finish, you know, raise your hand, ok. To share your score. Share your screen, share your screen, please, when you finish, okay? Alexander, share, please. Yeah, that's excellent, thank you. Another student, okay, share, please. Not yet, todavía no. Yes, but not activity. I I seen the meat. 
you have to change to other window. Okay, Owen, share please your screen. Owen, share your screen. Now, oh, very good. Good job. Okay, now let's put in practice this, okay? Recuérdense que el adverbio se traduce como mente. Yeah, look. Look at this example. He sings. Very good. Badly. This other, he walks. Fast, yes. This other, it walks. Very good. He plays. Yeah, very good. They are listening. Carefully. Yes. Now. Oh, let's see this. Okay. Yeah, you see here. Si te fijas bien, los adverbios van después de un verbo. Mira, ve. He sings badly. He walks fast. It walks slowly. He plays well. They are listening carefully. Siempre van después de un verbo. En cambio, los adjetivos son distintos. ¿no? En adjetivos puedes decir, I have, I have got a fast car. You see? A fast car. Or my girlfriend is beautiful. You see? I'm talking about how she is. But now the way. Is, this is the difference. Because if you say teacher, how I dif difference fast with other fast. Or hard with other hard. Or late or early because they're the same. Yeah, but you have to pay attention to the sentence. It depends a lot about the sentence. Okay? Yeah, let's continue with activity. Activity F. Okay? Let's complete this using the adverbs. Conversation 1. Can you sing? No, I can't. But I can play the piano. Very Well, yeah, excellent. Oh, really? I play very, very badly. Yes. Very badly. Teacher, ¿está mal si yo digo I play very bad? Yes. Porque estás diciendo yo toco muy malo. Lo correcto es decir yo toco malamente. Ok. Yeah, second conversation. Look, I won a medal. Why? Uh -oh. I'm very fast. El adverbio de fast es fast. En algunos si vimos que es badly, happily, no? but in others it's the same, fast. Okay, the next conversation. Do you usually wake up? Yes, early. No, I don't. I wake, wake up quite late. Okay. My work starts at 12 o'clock. You are so lucky I wake up at 7 every day. The last conversation. Could you draw? Very good. Could you draw well when you were young? Yeah, sure. Look at these old driving, drawings. Oh. Tell me, tell me. Beautiful or beautifully? Beautifully, yes. You could draw beautifully. See? 
tú podías dibujar hermosamente. That is the correct way, ¿ok? Beautifully. Ok, one activity more. Oh, sorry. Two volunteers for the conversation. One, wow, ok, two students more. Practice, because it's important the speaking at this bar. Maribel and Alexander, please read conversation A, one. Maribel, A. The other B, please. Maribel, start. Very good. Two volunteers more, please. Number two. Come on, volunteers, raise your hand. One volunteer more. Okay, Stefano and Jort. Stefano, U, A. Jort, B. The second, the second, this, this, this conversation. Very good. Two volunteers more, please, for the third conversation. This, this conversation. Two students. Raise your hand. One student more, please. Okay, Reina and Joseph. Reina, you start, please, you start. Thank you. Lucky. This is lucky. Yes. You are so lucky. Okay. Two students more, please, for the last. Raise your hand, please. Come on. Raise your hand. Two students. One student more, please. One volunteer. Okay, Joseph and Stefano. Joseph, please, you letter A. Stefano, B. Very good. See, these are the adverbs, okay? Adverbs. One activity more, okay? Activity G. Okay, let's put in order this conversation. It's a big one, you see? Yeah. Tell me, please. What could be the A? Because this, that's a great idea. Pursuit, trivial pursuit. Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah, you're right. We start with that, no? Because the other are questions, and that's a great idea. We don't use to answer questions. Yeah, yeah, could be this. Okay, that's a great idea. Continue. What else? Yeah, very good. That is. Sports, okay. Yeah, that's good. 
when were, no? In 19, in 1896, of course. That's right. Continue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. I know that is the last. That's right again. And what is next? Oh, yeah, you're right. It was in 1984. Perfectly. Good. You see, this conversation is very similar to the video we heard in this lesson, no? They are playing a game, quiz game. No? So it's very similar to that. Okay, and to finish, activity H. We are going to write sentence, obviously in past tense, because we were working with that grammar and using these clues, no, these words. What could be the first sentence? Let's use the past tense. Play, play, see? Play, you know play, yes? Who is play? Yeah, excellent, he's a very famous soccer player. Yeah, play. Uh, uh, in past, past tense, the past tense of be. Be, teacher, what's be? Am, is, are. In present is this, but play is not present, no? In the past, what is the past? Tell me the past of is. No idea? Yeah, we use was or were. Was, yes. Yeah, Pele was. Uh-uh. Pele was. Ah. Uh, a Brazilian soccer player. This is the sentence. Pele was a Brazilian soccer player. A very famous Brazilian soccer player. Yeah? Two. The same. Tell me in the past tense. He. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Solo utilizo was porque me da el verbo be. En este caso me da el verbo start. He. The past, the past tense. He started, yeah. Started playing. Soccer when he when he yes he was a teenager Yes, three, please. He, what is the pass of wing? Very good. He won his first World Cup. Oh, World Cup at 17. You see, when he was very young. He won his first World Cup. Can you imagine that? Okay, continue. Four. He yeah, won. He won three. Three. More. World Cups. World, uh, three World Cup titles. 
as a player, yes. You see? In all his career, he won three World Cup titles as a player, as the best player. And to finish, people, the very pass, the very pass. Yes, call it him. Yes, the king of soccer. You see? People called him the king of soccer. You see? This paragraph now, this sentence now are in past tense. The pass of B is was. Remember, was or were. Started when he was. He won. The pass of wing. Called. The pass of call. Okay, my friends, to practice more uh, at the adverse, I'm going to send you this link. Te voy a enviar este link. Es un poquito más extenso para que practiques adverbios. ¿Ya? Como te dije, los adverbios se parecen mucho a los adjetivos, pero dicen de cómo se hacen las cosas. How? He rides his bicycle carefully. He rides his bicycle Carelessly, descuidadamente, cuidadosamente, you see? For example, she walks slowly, no? My grandma walks slowly. How does she walk? ¿Cómo camina? Slowly. She walks slowly. He joined the, the, the duty yesterday. When did he join his duty? When means cuando. Cuando entregó. Yesterday. You see? Okay. Aquí tienen algunos. ¿ve? Choose the correct answer. This is happily, sadly, angrily. Angrily. You see? Es un adverbio. Enojadamente. Ya yeah. acá tienen algunos ejercicios también, como les digo. ¿ve? Circle and write the adverb. ¿Cuál es el adverbio acá? He laughed merrily. Merrily. Y aquí escribo esa palabra. Merrily. Y hay algunos ejercicios más. ¿ve? Beautifully. Brilliantly. Bravely. Loudly. Ok. It's, it's to practice. It's to practice your adverbs. Ok. Yeah, this link is going to be as homework. Okay, my friends. Well, as you see, the time almost is over. Thanks for coming. Thanks for your attention. Okay. The homework is, is in this link and also is in the WhatsApp link. Okay. So you can work with that.